Welcome to part 16 of the Mini Golf Marble Machine build. In this video, I'm going to build the border walls on the front and right sides of the machine. Then, I'll work on the surfaces that mesh up with the edges of those sections. And finally, I'll explain how the landscape painting will be done. Similar to the wall on the left side, I took one big board and cut it down to make the barrier. First, I marked it conservatively to make an easier piece to work with. Then, I went in and marked it to fit precisely, trimming off small bits at a time so I wouldn't cut off too much. Once the wall was ready, I added a few pieces that would be used as backing to glue the wall in place. When gluing some of the larger pieces down, I used a spacer that was the same thickness as the wall so the backing would be in the correct spot. When everything was ready, I glued in the wall and clamped it down. Next, I filled in one of the new empty spaces with crumpled paper and covered it with plaster cloth. I followed the exact same process with the right side. There was a small piece that needed to be sanded back because it stuck out a bit too far. This wall was higher than the front wall, so the backing was taller in some of the areas. Just like the front wall, I used a spacer to correctly place the backing. Later on, I added a piece that connected the top of the pillar on the far right to the top right corner of the wall. This piece required quite a bit of clamping to hold it in place while the glue dried. While the wall was setting, I added a few popsicle sticks for plaster cloth support. I added flex paste to fill in some areas. This coating hides the mesh of the plaster cloth and blends the line between the cloth and the rocks.
Once the right wall was set, I added plaster cloth to the open areas and followed that with a coat of flex paste. Before, I used a scraper hook to shape in some detail. This time, I opted for some power and efficiency. Here are the materials I'm going to use to paint the landscaping. For the dirt and grassy sections, I have green and earth undercoat paint. Various foliage will be placed over those areas. For the rocks, I have three colors, stone gray, burnt umber, and raw umber. This black will be used to accentuate the cracks and crevices. Scenic cement will be used to lock in the paint and foliage. It will be applied with a brush or with this spray bottle. I'll use a few different sponge brushes to apply the paint and mix them with water in some glasses. I'll start with the rocks. This special landscape paint is designed to be mixed with water and applied with a sponge brush so it can trickle down the rocks. I first added some paint in the cup and diluted it with water. I added more paint if it was too diluted. Each color has to be prepped in its own clean container. When I started painting, the small brush wasn't soaking up very much paint, so I switched to a bigger sponge. Unfortunately, after a little bit of trial, I realized that the flex paste was not soaking up any of the paint. The exposed rocks were doing fine, but a large majority of it was flex paste. I'm going to have to try a different ratio of water and paint, and maybe try a few different techniques as well. I may even have to hand paint it without diluting the paint at all. The next video will be one big time lapse of painting all the landscaping. This machine is really starting to look finished. <laughs> 